What is up? Welcome in to your daily Buckeye Blitz for a fun day, Sunday, Sunday, fun day, August 28th, 2022. I am your host, Joe from the Buckeye Cast, as always, bringing you your daily Blitz. I got to forewarn you, tonight we are recording our weekly episodes. We're back in the swing of full season, regular season, weekly episodes with Jeff and Sean. It's usually about an hour, hour plus. Uh Today's show or tonight's show will be um, de- we'll finish the two deep and we'll focus on the defense. Uh, we did the offense last week and then uh, we'll also talk uh, pregame, get you hyped up for the Notre Dame game. It's only uh, six days away, right? This is game week. We're officially in it. So keep an eye out for that. That'll be out uh, Monday morning ish, hopefully by lunchtime. So uh, and it's always on YouTube and uh all the podcast platforms and everything else. So keep an eye out for that. Today's five minute show though, we are talking player performance bets. I'm trying to get into a little bit more gambling advice and kind of gambling focus for our uh, friends that that like to dabble. Um, And now that it's going to be legal in Ohio here in a few months, uh, I think you guys will be jumping all in with both feet, right? (laughs) Can't wait. So, uh, so bet online, uh, one of the book, uh, bookie sites, uh, they put out these player performance bets for, uh, some of the more popular, you know, college football players, Bryce Young, uh, Jameer Gibbs, you know, Addison, the receiver, uh, but f- for the Buckeyes, we're going to focus on, uh, CJ Stroud, Travion Henderson and, and Jackson Smith and Jigba. Uh, so we have like, uh, three bets you can bet on over-unders on yardage, touchdowns, things like that. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to run through these three real quick. Um, Starting off, we got CJ. We have three bets you can place on CJ. And this is just regular season, so you got to keep that in mind, okay? Um, So his passing yardage for the regular season, so 12 games, they have the over-under set at 4,000.5. That's the over under over is minus 135 under is minus 105. So Vegas is assuming that he's going to go over, but you're getting some good value at the under. So uh, minus 105 is, is not bad, but you got to think that for, in order for CJ to go under, he's probably going to like miss a game or two due to injury or something. Right. I mean, at least two, probably he threw for what, uh, 4,400 last year. And, uh, that was in 12 games, one being the bowl game. So only 11 regular season games, he threw for 4,400. Okay. So I'm taking the over there. I think he easily passes 4,000.5 and I know the value is not great, but maybe if you're into parlays and stuff like that, you can group that with another one or something. Um, so I'm going over on 4,000.5. Uh, TD passes, they have them set at 39.5 for the regular season. And the juice is the same. It's over is minus 120, under is minus 120. So 40 is your number. If you're going over, you need 40 plus. And again, last year in 11 regular season games, he threw for, uh, or in 12 games, uh, he threw for 44, did have six in that Rose Bowl. So If you subtract the six, he had 38 in 11 regular season games. I'm going over on that as well. Not great juice there with the minus 120, but uh, again, maybe you can, if you can parlay that, some books will do that for you. You can loop in a couple of of these player performance things. Um, INTs, interceptions in the regular season. This one was interesting to me. They have him over 5.5. The over is minus 130. And the under is minus 110. I'm leaning under. He threw six last year. Again, one was in the Rose Bowl. So subtract that. In 11 games, regular season, he threw five. So I say under, even if, if he you know plays 12 games, assuming that, I think he's still he's improved. And I know we're going against a tougher schedule. I, I do need to preface everything with that. We are going against a much tougher schedule this year, you know, uh, 14th rank ranked by um, Phil Steele. So keep that in mind, but I still think uh, 
um, his improvement and the offense is is going to be too good. Under five and a half, and I'll take the value on that. All right, uh, Trebion. He has, uh, let's see, over under 13 and a half rushing touchdowns on the regular season. Uh, they have the over at minus 130, the under at minus 110. So let's go back and look at last year's stats, including the Utah game and the Rose Bowl. He had 1,250 yards, 15 touchdowns. He only rushed for 80 in that uh, Rose Bowl and had no touchdowns. So keep that in mind. I'm definitely going over on these touchdowns. I think he easily gets 14. And I know the value is not great, but again, if you're into parlaying and shit like that, maybe loop it in there with uh, his his yardage or something. So um, they have his rush yards on the regular season for Travion at 1199.5. So in essence, 1200 yards. The over is minus 125 and the under is minus 115. So going back and looking at his stats again, like I mentioned, he went for 1248 all told with the Rose Bowl. But then if you remove that Rose Bowl, he was at what, 1170? I think uh, with his minimal carries he had, like the, the Minnesota game, he only had two. Uh, Arkansas, I mean, Akron, he had eight. Rutgers, eight. Some of these single carry, single digit carry games, nine against Michigan State nine against Indiana. I think those are at least double. And I think he's, he's definitely going to pass the 1200 mark. I got him personally. I got him with 1500 rushing and at least 400 receiving. So maybe not quite 2000 yards, but close to 1900. So uh, next we got uh, Jackson Smith and Jigba, his receiving yardage. Oh, these are receptions. These have to be receptions. Yeah. Uh, 89.5 on the regular season is the over under minus 120 on the over and minus 120 on the under. So basically 90 catches. Will Jackson get 90 catches? Not great juice, not great value there, but I, last year he had 95 and that includes 15 in the Rose Bolt. So take that down to 80. But again, he was not the focus, the primary focus in many of these games, like the Minnesota game, two catches, uh, Tulsa, two, Akron, five, Rutgers, two, Maryland, five. You know, these are going to be amped up and completely like at least double and triple. So he will have the targets. He will have the opportunities. And like I mentioned in uh, yesterday's show, it's up to Ryan Day and Kevin Wilson to be creative and get him in these one-on-one -on -one situations where he can work, you know? So I'm going over. I think he is the focus. I know you got Marvin Harrison Jr. and Julian Fleming and the rest of the crew, but I think Jackson still is, is good enough to get, the, to get open and get these catches. I, I think he goes over 90. That's a tough one though. I'm, 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 I could be swayed either, either way there. Uh, last one, Jackson Smith and Jigma in Jigba's regular season receptions, uh, uh, touchdown receptions. They got the over under at an even 12, uh, minus 120 on the over, minus 120 on the under. Again, uh, going back to his numbers here, he had uh, nine, nine touchdowns, including three in the Rose Bowl. So that's only six on the regular season. Now, this one is tough to get the to get to the over in my opinion, because he basically would have to double his regular season production in scoring touchdowns. Now, going back to what I mentioned earlier with his uh, limited receptions against Minnesota, Tulsa, Akron, you know, Maryland, Rutgers, and going against a tougher schedule, you know, do these kind of balance each other out? I I think I got to go under here. I, I think down in the red zone, I, I'm wondering if maybe uh, C.J. Stroud – tends to look towards the bigger body guys like Marvin Harrison Jr. or uh, Julian Fleming, you know, and kind of body the defenders out. So I'm going under, hate to say it, but I'm going under on the, uh, the 12 receiving touchdowns on the season. So 
that's all I got for today. Like I mentioned, keep it, keep an eye open for the uh, full version of the Buckeye cast coming out tomorrow. And uh, I'll be back with another Blitz tomorrow as well. And uh, we'll talk to you later. Go Bucks. <laughs>